Hello, how are you? It's Anne. Yes, indeedy. Before I get started on the I look I'm wearing, I wanted to bring up a few things because I got uppity today and I took myself over to the Dollar Tree. Our Dollar Tree currently has those wonderful little microfiber face cloths in a packet of two. Yes, Dollar Tree, packet of two. Now, I've gotten a few of these before, and then they ran out, and now they've got them back in again, which is just lovely. The only thing I will mention is that you really have got to wash these before you try to use them, because they are stiff as a board when you first get them. Run, in, run them through the wash, make sure you run them through the wash and they come out just as soft and fluffy as any fancier or more expensive ones you have ever seen they are just perfect got that went back and looked because i really am enjoying this micellar water i picked up at dollar tree i was thrilled i mean micellar water for a dollar got there couldn't find that particular bottle I'm looking around and looking around and then I found this one they now have it set up where there's the for dry skin which is what I've got and they've got one specifically for oily skin I love my Dollar Tree I really do I know small haul that's all you get however if you like what you see and want to know how I did it, just stay tuned. Hello people, how are you? It's Anne, I'm back. And I figured I would start playing with yet another palette. This is the Amazonian that I picked up um, from the Shop Hush, excuse me, Amazonia that I picked up from Shop Hush when they were doing their thing, which they seem to have finished doing because everything was showing as sold out the last time I looked. Now, these are my colors. I'm not sure how it's translating on the camera, but a lot of them are very, very bright. Like this one here on my screen, it looks kind of like just kind of dreamsicle orange and it's a very intense orange. I'm going to see if I can get that corrected in post-production. And it's called Toucan. And that's one of the colors I intend to be using. Now, I did most of my base stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how many times do you need to see me smear foundation on this mug? using the wet n wild eye primer the photo focus eye primer because i'm trying to finish using up some stuff you know how that goes you get stuff you try and finish using it up with the picking up of several palettes because of the shop hush um mega clearance which cleared it right down to the walls apparently <clears throat> at this point we still have people just going are they or aren't they and they're like they've got a few pictures left up on their site but every time you you click on one of the pictures for a palette or something it comes up showing sold out and all the rest of the picture slots are dead empty. So, you tell me. <laughs> Alrighty. First color I'm going to use is a rather dark green. It's got a little shimmer to it, but not really a lot. It's called Water Lily. I 
just want to get started out here putting my dark down. bit of that under the eye while I'm sitting here with it. No, I do not put my makeup on like anybody else. You know, you've got some people that they'll wait and wait and wait and wait until they finish doing all the upper eye stuff and then they put their foundation and everything on. And then they get to the very end of everything. Then they do the, the lower lid. I'm contrary, apparently. I do it different. I basically put it on when I think about it. <laughs> Especially if I'm using the same color I was just using. You know, it's like I've got this dark color on a brush. I've put it on my eye. It's going to go under the lash, under the lower lashes. Why not just get it over with? Now, I've got concealer on under here, which is the Wet n Wild concealer. I've got wet and wild foundation on. If I get any fallout from this, it's going to land on the powder that I've already put down over the concealer and the foundation. Tear, carefully take a powder brush and go foof. And that should take care of any fallout. So, do it how you want to do it. Do it how, how it feels comfortable to you. Don't worry about anybody else's specifics. If you like their techniques, fine, use them. If you have a way you prefer to do it, go for it. It's your eye. It's your makeup, your toys. Yes, some techniques work better than others. But whether or not it works for you, that's kind of up to you. Alrighty. I'm going to pick up two can. Now, yes, the brush is dirty, but it's been cleaned off. It's okay. Calm down. The water lily has got a slight glitter to it here and there. It's a, it's almost like, more like somebody as an afterthought dusted a little glitter somewhere in it. The toucan is a matte, but it is an, an intense matte. Like I said, though, I don't know how it's going to translate on the camera until I get it into post-production. And I will hopefully get it so that it shows up this absolutely gorgeous corally orange the way I see it sitting here because it is gorgeous. It really is. It is a beautiful color. Pretty. And yes, I'm just kind of tapping it on because I want to get it where I want it and then I will blend it over into that green before I pick up the next shade.
I don't know why that one spot right there just doesn't want to pick up. I don't get it. However, to pick up a color in here that is called star beam star beam is kind of a silvery gold combo so it's a little bit pale compared to the other gold in here but let me tell you, it is gorgeous. Now, the other day, yes, this is not the first time I have played with this palette. The other day when I was playing with it, I tried using glitter glue. But I'm going, there's so little space that I'm putting this that the glitter glue really just kind of didn't help much, so I'm sticking with just spraying. It is such a pretty shimmer. And it just kind of folds right in with the toucan and picks up some of that brilliant orange and makes another paler shade next to it before it goes into the area where it's all by itself and just is the shimmer. little bit that I am going to do there. There is this shimmer gray in this palette called Morning Mist. And let me tell you, you couldn't ask for a prettier color. That it really isn't even a color. It's just kind of this pale gray, silvery kind of thing. Literally looks like morning mist with a little sunlight sneaking in. Not enough to, to change it to kind of a gold. It's definitely still that little cloudy gray of fog. But it is so pretty. Now, somebody told me that this is this palette's considered a dupe for something or other. And I'm going to say something or other because I don't remember which one it's supposed to be a dupe for. And I really am not concerned because, I'm sorry, these palettes that are supposedly dupes for something else, for me, pretty much stand on their own. And I'm not. 
not, it doesn't confront me at all that this is technically supposed to be a dupe for some other high-end product. I bought it because I like the palette. And this is the palette that I saw. I didn't go looking for other things. Okay, now, Water Lily, Toucan, Starbeam, Morning Mist. I've got, this is one of the e.l.f. eye pencils, and it's in olive. Drop that right in the waterline. I didn't want to put a really dark green in the waterline because if I put a really dark green in the waterline, it just ends up looking black anyway. Oh. Now let's see if I can do this without my hands shaking so bad that I cuss. That's a one. I know some people that can change hands and do the ambidextrous thing and do this eye with this hand and that eye with that hand. A friend of mine used to be able to do that passed away last year. I was seriously jealous of the talent. But it's like since she passed away I'm not going to be much jealous of much of anything else right now. Miss her a great deal. Yes, I do. She was maid of honor at my wedding to the current hubby. Don't at me. I've been married. This is the third time. And, yeah. Found Prince Charming. Kissed a lot of toads. Found Prince Charming. And I'm good with it. I feel a little sorry for him, though, because I caught him before anybody else did. So this was his first go-round. And considering we just passed our 25th anniversary last September, I think we're doing okay. Both of the first two only made it about five years.
Alrighty. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Let's see, got the blush on, got the bronzer on, got the eyes on. Looking pretty good. Yeah, looking pretty good. What do you think? Alrighty, got the mascara, got both sides of the mascara up and down. Do, 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 do. Got the liner, got the waterline. La 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 la. Alright. I'm going to break out the Ofra highlighter. <laughs> Ofra. I got this in my first Ipsy. Okay. Okay. And now. I'm going to get up at it and use it. It is so pretty. Now, blusher. AOA Studio. It's one of the multi-strike blushers from AOA Studio. Excuse me, the bronzer. The blusher is also from AOA Studios. This one's called Delicate Pink. Yep, this is my first Ofra piece. Got it in my Ipsy. Star Island. If you expect to see any other colors from Ofra anytime soon, don't hold your breath unless they're in the Ipsy. That's my doggy again. He's being pitimous. He wants mama's attention. And Daddy is trying to quietly get him to come see him. We don't know how well this is going to work. Because little man is a pain in the butt. Anyway. All right. Had a little fallout over here. Take my powder brush and go foosh. Have a little bit of fallout from the morning mist. And possibly a little bit from the star beam. But it's kind of falling in line with the highlighter, so we'll see. Let's see what I'm going to put. Alrighty. This is a Wet n Wild called Honolulu is Calling. Now, looking at it in the, it, right here in front of me, this is very similar to that central eye shade being Toucan. We shall see. Like I said, I'm going to try and get the colors reset in post-production. So you can actually see them. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good together. Tell me what you think. Now I will be doing a few more with Amazonia. 
and then I have got some others that I have picked up during this little experiment of collecting some stuff that's either on really, really deep discount through Amazon or picking up the Shop Hush stuff. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. If you just want to say hi, drop me a comment. If you want me want me to do other things with particular colors in any of the uh, palettes that I've already shown or anything that comes up in the next run of stuff, let me know. Not a problem. I do have fun being here. Now, let me remind you, I do not have bail money. Be good.